Hello friends, in this video we will see more problems based on boats and string. Okay. For example, a man takes a man takes twice as long to row a distance a distance against against the stream has to row the same distance has to row the same distance in favor of the stream in favor of the stream okay so then find the then find the ratio of ratio of speed of the boat in still water to the stream speed the stream speed so we have to find the ratio of the speed of the boat in still water to the stream speed okay so a man takes twice as long as to row a distance against the stream. Against the stream means he is going upstream. Has to row the same distance in favor of stream. Favor of stream means he is going in downstream. Okay. So that means, for example, for upstream, if he is taking two hours, okay, then downstream he will take one hour. Why? Because man takes twice as long as. As long as means long means time. To row a distance against the stream. So against the stream. That means upstream he is taking 2 hours. And downstream he is taking 1 hour. Then the ratio of the times for upstream and downstream is in the ratio 2 is to, I mean 2 ratio 1. So these are the times. The times ratio of the upstream and downstream are in the ratio 2 ratio 1. So if you observe to row the same distance that means in upstream in downstream he is covering the same distance okay same distance. So as we know time is equal distance by speed. So in both the cases the distance is same. So that means distance is same that means distance is constant. When distance is constant time is inversely proportional to the speed time is inversely proportional to the speed okay time is inversely proportional to the speed so that means the time ratios of upstream and downstream are in the ratio of 2 ratio 1 then the downstream speed and upstream speed is going to be in the ratio 2 ratio 1 so these are reversed see okay then the downstream speed is 2 kilometers per hour and the upstream speed is 1 kilometer so they are reversed actually otherwise you can reverse upstream and downstream speeds are in the ratio 1 ratio 2 ok 1 ratio 2 that means upstream speed is 1 kilometer per hour and downstream speed is 2 kilometers per hour ok so now we have to find the speed of the boat in still water so speed of the boat in still water is given by 1 by 2 of upstream plus downstream that is 3 that is going to be 1.5 and the speed of the stream the speed of the stream is going to be given by 1 by 2 that is downstream minus upstream that is 2 minus 1 is going to be 1 that is 1.2 0 0.5 so then the ratio of the speed of the boat in still water is 1.5 ratio the speed of the speed that is 0 0.5 this is going to be equal to the 15 ratio 5 so that is equivalent to 3 ratio 1 so that means the ratio of the speed of the boat in still water and the stream speed is 3 ratio 1 ok 3 ratio 1 so let's take another problem. If boat goes upstream, if boat goes upstream 7 kilometers in 42 minutes, in 42 minutes. 
so a boat goes upstream in seven upstream seven kilometers in forty two minutes. Okay, and the speed of the stream is and the speed of the stream also given, and the speed of stream is three kilometers per hour, and the speed of the stream is three kilometers per hour, three kilometers per hour. Then the speed of the boat in still water. Then we have to find the speed of the boat in still water. Still water. So upstream, the so boat covers up, travels upstream seven kilometers in forty-two minutes. Speed of the stream, okay, is given three kilometers per hour. Then we have to find the speed of the boat in still water. Okay, so this is going upstream seven kilometers in forty-two minutes. It is in kilometer, it is in minutes. So we convert this one into hours. So if it is traveling seven kilometers upstream, okay, so that means the speed is given by the speed is equal distance by time, right? Distance is seven kilometers and time is forty-two minutes. We have to convert this one into hours. So I divide this one by sixty. Is equal into into sixty by forty-two. Okay. So two twenty one ja and three thirty ja and seven three ja and three into ten. So that is going to be ten kilometers per hour. So this is the upstream speed. Upstream speed. Okay. The upstream speed of the boat is ten kilometers per hour. So we have to find the speed of the boat in still water. Let us assume the speed of the boat in still water is x kilometer. Okay. The speed of the boat in still water is x kilometer. And the speed of the stream is Three kilometer. Speed of the boat in still water is x kilometer, and speed of the stream is three kilometer. So that means upstream speed is upstream speed is equal. So upstream speed is given by what? X minus three. Upstream speed is given by x minus three. It is in still water, and the, this is the stream speed. If we subtract this three from the speed of the stream, so we will get the upstream. But according to the question. We have got 10 kilometers per hour is upstream, so that is equivalent to 10. So that is going to be x is equal 13 kilometers per hour. So x is what the boat, the speed of the boat in still water. So the speed of the boat in still water is given by 13 kilometers per hour. So I hope you got this one. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel.